Veterans sacrifice so much to protect our freedoms, and they can face struggles many of us can't even imagine. A report from the VA shows the veteran suicide rate significantly higher than the national rate. Well, there's one organization that's working to save lives and change that statistic, all with the help of man's best friend. KSHB 41 News reporter Caroline Hogan amplifies the voice of one veteran who's finding relief now with his new therapy dog. I'm on call 24-7, anything that happens. Patrick Gensel holds emotional weight from his 20 years of service as a military chaplain, especially from his time in Iraq. Every other place I'd been, I was with the team, whereas here it was just me. Now, the veteran has someone to help bear the burden. I call her my battle buddy. Gensel got June through Retrieving Freedom, a nonprofit designed to train and assign service dogs. These dogs do make a difference. Doug. Tug, tug. Good girl, yes. Get him. Aside from helping Gensel up and Bring picking it. things up off the floor. Good girl, yes. He says June helps him get out of his head. And it's just allowed me to, to really work more on me. The, there are even commands uh, to help him calm down. You know, just having her lay her head on my lap. It's like, I'm here. We'll get through this. You're not in, you're not going through it alone. We're here as a team. This just can be like a complete 180 of just they're more confident, they're more comfortable, um, they're less anxious. As a trainer, Bailey Inman's favorite part of her job is seeing that change in her clients. She even feels it herself. I know that when I'm in my office doing paperwork stuff and have not had a hands-on training with the dog, I make time in my day to go get a dog. June is Gensel's personal weighted blanket. Here. And that's weight he doesn't mind carrying. Okay, crash. Every night when I crawl in bed, that's the first thing she does. She jumps up and just boom, lays on top of me like, okay, we made it through the day. Yeah, she means everything. Caroline Hogan, KSHB 41 News.